Hey guys, welcome back. I am so excited to share this next video with you because this little face mask works so well for my skin and it leaves it feeling so clean, fresh, and just glowing. So I really wanted to show you how I do this. It's completely natural, of course, so you don't have to worry about any chemicals, and it's great for all skin types, especially people who suffer from breakouts and scarring. And you could also use this as a body scrub as well, so I'm also going to show you that. So I hope that you guys enjoy and find this helpful, and let's get started. Okay, so for the ingredients, you might already have all of these products in your kitchen. The first is sugar, which is a natural exfoliator and a source of glycolic acid. Then we're going to need some honey and try to get the purest, rawest form you can find. This Manuka one is really good. We're also going to need some extra virgin olive oil, which is really high in vitamin E. And then lastly, we're going to need one lemon, which will help to brighten the skin. So here are the four ingredients that you will need and they all have properties in them that are just so beneficial for the skin. All right, so grab a tablespoon and a little bowl and then start by just cutting the lemon in half and squeeze it into the bowl. Lemon is, of course, a natural source of vitamin C, which is essential for building collagen and vitamin C is also used to lighten sun and age spots. So gives you a nice, even complexion. It's also a natural astringent, which tightens the pores and brightens up the complexion. Next, you wanna add about half a cup of sugar, which is approximately eight tablespoons, and this will act as our natural exfoliator. So it will remove all of those dead and dull skin cells that can sit on top of our skin and prevent it from being nice and smooth. Onto my favorite ingredient, I'm adding one tablespoon of honey, and honey is just a miracle worker for the skin. It's antibacterial, it contains a lot of antioxidants and it has a mild form of alpha hydroxy acid which is again a great exfoliator and then lastly you'll need one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil or you could also use coconut oil this is very high in vitamin E which soothes and heals the skin and it really calms the skin so it acts as a nice natural moisturizer and vitamin E is used a lot in different skincare creams for its anti-aging benefits so the next step of course is to mix it all up and I decided to go back Back and add a little bit more sugar because I wanted it to be a little bit more exfoliating so you can kind of tailor it to your preference so before I apply the face mask just want to make sure that all the hair is out of the way this is very important because you don't want to get any hair in your face mask and then I'm just gonna give it a little stir and start applying it with clean hands onto clean skin so you want to make sure that you don't have any other product on your face at this point. And I'm just applying this very gently in kind of circular motions and really working it into the skin and using it as of course an exfoliator as well. So moving around in circles, moving upwards and really trying to get rid of all of those dead skin cells. And you could also use this as a lip exfoliator which will leave your lips nice and smooth and hydrated and it's totally fine if you get some in your mouth because it actually tastes really good. So once the face mask is on, I'm just going to go back and kind of gently massage and stimulate my face just to get lots of blood flowing there. This is great for collagen production. It's also just really nice and relaxing, which is important for us to do. It's important for our bodies to relax. So take some time and do this if you can and always make sure to bring everything upwards. So now the face mask is on and I'm going to let those ingredients do their magic. So I'm just going to leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes and then just rinse my face off with warm water. And this just makes my skin feel so, so smooth and clean. It's hands down my favorite way to exfoliate and pamper my skin. And I love the fact that it's completely natural. I'm just going to lock in the moisture by applying a bit of this lightweight cream all over. And then I'm taking some argan oil and applying this to my eyebrows to help them grow and also my eyelashes to keep them moisturized as well as around my lips. So now my face feels so, so good and I highly recommend doing this like at least once or twice a week to remove stubborn impurities and build up of dead skin cells. And it's just so important to take care of your skin, especially when you're young. I also like to use this recipe as a body scrub and I just poured the rest of it into this glass to bring it with me to my tub. This is great for preventing ingrown hairs and for stimulating circulation. I also recommend doing this to the back of your thighs and your bum area which will help with cellulite and of course all the ingredients help to brighten and even out the skin tone as well. 
Another great place to exfoliate is on the back of your hands, and your hands are actually one of the first parts of your body that starts to show signs of aging, so you want to make sure that you exfoliate them and keep the circulation going as well as moisturizing them. And as for the leftovers, I just pop it into my fridge and use it again after a few days. I hope this was helpful to you guys, and I hope that all of you will get beautiful, clear, glowing skin from this face mask. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everyone is having a nice day, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon.